Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Thea. And I'm Jimbo. And welcome to our new lettering tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to do a ribbon inspired lettering. And for that, you will need an iPad, our Procreate software, and to make things a bit easier, our handmade ribbon brush, which you can download in our treasury on our website. Remember that you'll find the link in the description below. For the first step, we're gonna do the layout. Here we're using some line brushes from our, from our newest product, this layout lettering masterclass. And we are doing like a little grid for our lettering piece. Remember that you can always um, do your own grid, your own layout, and you will need this. Yes, but if you wanna follow this exactly, you can just do the steps the same as we do, just to make it easier. Now that our guidelines are done, let's move on to the first step. Here we are choosing a simple pencil to start our sketch. In this case, we are using one of ours, but you know, just feel free to use whatever pencil you feel like. Here, Jimbo is making script letters because script letters kind of imitate the flow of the brush. Exactly. What you can do as well is to find some images in Pinterest of ribbons so you get inspired before you do this exercise. After you made a structure that you are really happy about, bring your opacity down and create a new layer. Let's move on to the second step. It's time to grab the ribbon brush and redraw the letters. Remember that you can get the ribbon brush in our website. Don't forget to do it in a separate layer so you don't mix it with the sketch. Mixed layers can be a real If you need more inspiration, the... just take some <laughs> tape you have around the house and play around with it. Take some photos and just analyze how it moves and flows. We do this so we can see where the folds are supposed to be so we don't mess it up. Remember that this brush has been designed perfectly so you get the ribbon natural feeling. The only thing you'll have to make sure of is to play a bit with the pressure and you'll get it. Let's move on to step three. Now that you made this ultra crisp ribbon sketch, we are going to... Sketch it on top. Just grab a pencil once again and make sure you understand each and every part of your ribbon. Exactly, where it folds, where the shadow comes, where the light comes. Remember that the thickness of the stroke should be consistent across the whole piece. Right now, I'm just outlining the ribbon structure we have in the background. But remember that in order to give more uniqueness to your piece, you can still analyze that tape that we talked about and make it a little bit better. 
in this part of the process we will decide which parts of the ribbon will go in front and which one will go behind. Before moving on to the next step, we'll just make sure that everything is balanced. For this, I always grab a circle, I paint it inside, and then I put it across my letters. Then you'll see if every letter has the same thickness. Here we are on step 4. In this part, we'll first choose three colors. A lighter one, a darker one, and something in the middle. The front side of the ribbon will be painted in the lighter color. On this layer, paint every single front side. When it comes to the brush, here I'm using an inking brush from one of our sets. But again, you can choose any calligraphy brush or anything that goes handy. Let's go to the step 5. Now we are creating a new layer for painting the behind side of the letters. For this side we will use a little darker shade of the pink. Remember that we chose three colors. We just used the light color and now we're using the one in the middle. Let's go to the step 6. This is gonna be the fastest one. Just create a layer behind those ones that we've just done. And paint the rest of the ribbon with the darkest shade. In the step seven, we're gonna create a new layer on top of each and every one of the layers we have till now. Now tap on them and create clipping masks. Now let's do some shading. Grab the selection tool and select different parts that you wanna paint at the moment. Then, take a shader brush or any other shading brush you adore and add some shadows on the selected parts. As you might assume, the parts that are folding or curving will need to be more dark because the front side should be creating a shadow on them. Follow this example on all the folding or curving parts. comes a part that is a bit complicated, but I know that you are up for the task. Some parts that are now behind, I would like to put in front. I can do that by creating a mask on the shape in front, selecting the shape from behind, coming back to the layer in front and paint over the mask with black color. Black color will hide the shape in front and reveal the shape behind. <laughs>
finishing touches. We are almost at the end. I guess it wasn't so difficult, right? Now we're gonna add some light to our piece just to make it pop a little bit more. <laughs> Ta-da! Your ribbon is done. We bet you're looking at some cool piece of lettering and we would love to see it. So hop on Instagram, post it and tag us so we are able to share it with our community. See you next time, guys. Bye, guys. Remember that by joining our newsletter community, you will get access to all of our freebies, including free Procreate brushes, textures and fonts, and other fresh stuff we cook up every month. Remember that you'll find the link in the description below. And with that said, let, let her away! away.